Wagner, Financial News Network. TFNN, Headline News Update. Well, folks, we've got a Merry Christmas type day. This is Larry Pesavento for TFNN. We've got red and green. Green goes to the metals and the currencies, and the red goes to the stock indices. We had a big divergence between the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones and the S&P uh, recently, and also we are already to be expecting, and I'll show you the chart of the GDP predictions that are going to be coming out. This will be posted into the TFNN, Dan, so they'll be seeing it. Also on the webinar that you'll probably be able to catch this if you like. But that's what the expectations are. Uh, folks, what's interesting about this is if you look at the divergence for what the Fed is expecting and what the market is expecting. This is uh, well, one of these dudes is wrong and somebody's going to pay the price big time. And that number is going to come out tomorrow. I think they're looking for... I don't even know what the number is, but all I know, the number is going to come out. And with a divergence like that, it is going to rock and it is going to roll. So make sure you're in a position where you can put a stop in, whether you're right, long or short. It doesn't make any difference because if that's a big surprise, uh-oh, look out. So that's the thing that you want to pay very, very close attention to. Uh, interest rates are holding relatively steady. The bonds are down just a little bit. They have strong support, about two points from where they are right now. So that may be the reason that with the number coming out tomorrow, you want to watch that, to have those numbers setting in there for you. But the big surprise today, not to some people, but last Thursday, we had soybeans sitting right on their low. And now we're 60 cents higher and going up. So it's been a big, big run here in the, uh, the soybeans here for the past uh, five days moving uh, 60 cents. So it's quite interesting to see it. Anyway, uh, if you want to listen to my show, it'll be coming on next from uh, 2 to 3. Then we'll be talking about the bank stocks and a little bit of the Bitcoin because Bitcoin has made a very, very important pattern completion. And we'll be talking about that. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. The reality is that navigating financial